Hi, good morning. Just wanted to give you a little heads up on what we've been going through. So Ziva is doing really well. I am pleased with her performance. She, um, as we expected, she has this toss of the head when she gets mad or you reprimand her for something. Her, her fight back, I guess you could say, is to throw her head up in the air. So we've put the tie down on one time in the past to try and address that some. And she fought me more, so we took it off and she did much better without the tie down. Well, this morning it's a little chilly. She's had about two days off. We had something come up. So she's feeling pretty good this morning. She was a little antsy, kind of nervous, ready to go this morning. So put the tie down back on or just try and take away that extra agenda that she had. And we came down and she's still fighting me. So I said, let's take the tie down off. I took the tie down off and I noticed within about five minutes, she's already starting to do a lot better in relaxing and starting to give me her head back after that five so minutes. So tell them why, you, why we put the tie down on early this morning. So why was, what's the principle there? Um, the principle in putting the tie down on this morning was just to let her know that I am going to address this problem if you want to continue <laughs> on your path of fighting me. So putting it on there just readdresses to her that I have this trick up my sleeve to address your problem. So you applied uh, an equalizer. Yes, exactly. You, you got her you got her head to where she wouldn't flip it up where you couldn't control her. Correct. And then you utilize the bit to control her and when she figured out you had control of her, you could take the tie down off and go on the rest of the day. Correct. Good. Yes. Good to know. Okay, let's go down uh oh car coming. So she's not buggy on that big ditch there. So we've been working not just on gate with this little mule, but we've been working to get that overreach in the back end. She can do a gate that's kind of, well, it's a gate, but it's real short in the back end, which doesn't provide a real perfect ride. You know, you can call gated, gated, then you can call the perfect gate, gated. Well, this thing's going to have the perfect gate when we're done. And, you know, if anybody else was working this mule, they'd probably be satisfied with just a little short step and pittery pattery, kind of a Pasifino kind of gate. But we're going to help her understand where that perfect gate is and how to stay in it. Ooh, ooh. See, there, there she goes. Rebelled a little bit. Crystal brought her right back in that swing of gate. She's got about five inches of overreach if you watch. We might even do a little slow motion for you. I'm when trying to push her more. Are you? Well, just let her settle into okay. yep. the best she can be. Let's make a marine out of her. So, and I will say this that, that there are times like right now in her development where she should just be pushed up to where she is at her best and leave that faster speed for a couple of weeks out. She has to learn that back end's got to reach out there. And if she's losing her mind because we're pushing a little too much and then she forgets that, then she's not learning that. Outstanding. You know, you can go try to buy a mule and they can have a mule that looks like this. It might seem like it's broke. 
in reality, it's not finished or trained. It's barely, it's not even green broke. This mule's got uh, four or five weeks of training on her. And she looks good. But that doesn't mean you'd want to put your husband or your wife on it if they weren't riders. You want me to go under the bridge too? No, I did that once and it didn't turn out real well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Crystal, thank you. You can see she's struggling with her face just a little bit there. She's pushing over here. What you want to do? Scratch the truck? I don't know. She's shying away from the ditch. Oh. Okay, take her to the other side. Maybe that'll help. Always something different. If it's not working, change it up. Because we're not really working to have her comfortable in the ditch right here. We're working on gates, so that that gives her a little flexibility there. The mule. When she's done, we'll expect her to go down by that ditch and gate and not have a problem at all. And she'll give that to us. She's a good little mule. So I'm setting, oh gosh, a hundred yards up the road. And the reason I'm shooting this video is because a new mule like this does a whole lot better gating when the car's not, or a golf cart's not running right along beside it. And if you look close and watch that head shake. You can see the difference.